Hi guys, welcome back to Jess Claire Creates. Today I have a traveller's notebook spread uh, and this is of Mother's Day. So I've got my photos, I've printed them all out on a 5x7 piece of photo paper because I got some cheap from Poundland. And I also have this gift bag that my Mother's Day present came in that my mum got me from Ben. Oh, excuse my voice. And as soon as I saw it, I loved it and I thought I have to use that for my scrapbooking because it's just so beautiful, the colours in it are gorgeous. So I fussy cut that whole piece, a great big piece of floral uh, and some little bits as well. And I've just backed some of the smaller photos on some orange card that I had and used the little bit extra to cut out some stars that I could use on this spread or on another one and I've backed that bigger photo onto some pink card a lot of the cards that I'm using at the minute for backing photos um, has come from either Poundland or the works because I just think it's great to get cheap card a cheap pattern paper to use for backing photos because you use quite a lot of it um, and this way it's not too expensive so I'm just using um, that little tag I use all the time <laughs> just to make a tag shape because um, it's nice and small. So I've just used some pattern paper to create that and slipped it into um, the gap between the photo and the paper that I made there. That love piece and the flowers were also cut out of the gift bag. And I decided that I wanted to have this photo be behind the larger one. So I've just cut it down slightly so it would fit really neatly behind. Um, and this was going to be my sort of tip in, my little opening door. And the pattern paper that I used for it was not very strong. I think that one was actually from, I think that was from the works. And that was just a pattern paper pack and it was quite thin. So I backed it with some more. Um, from the 12 by 12 sheet and then I'm just using some washi tape that came in a set from Lidl I'm like a budget scrapbooker at the minute <laughs> so I've just used that to tape down that side of it and I'm using some clear tape on the inside so that it doesn't cover any of the photo so I've just made that little opening there and it's still got the tag inside it and I'm just adding on some stars that I've punched out from black and white paper so I've just done my journaling and now I'm going to use one of the Heidi Swap stamps, acrylic stamps, with um, black stays on ink and that says treasure. And I'm just sticking down my other photo onto that page, just deciding where it's going to go. Didn't have an idea at this point about what I was going to fill the rest of the page with but I've just used some Dovecraft uh, crafters glue to stick down the uh, flower just because it had some intricate little bits and here I've just got some labels that I printed off and cut out and I'm just using them for little journaling spots on the photos so I've just paired some together in the same sort of colours that I've got in those um, big floral pieces sort of pinks and greens and on this one I had um, hand lettered Mother's Day it's not very good I'm a bit out of practice <laughs> um, and these are some Mambi stickers that my bestie got me for my birthday which and this is actually the first time I've used them and that one says find joy in the ordinary and I just liked the background because it kind of looked like the park that we went to so I'm just adding on some of the little flowers that I cut out from that gift bag and also some hearts that I've cut out of a Paige Evans paper from the Oh My Heart collection which are my new favourite embellishment at the minute I need to finish cutting that whole sheet out uh, and I've just got my Carpe Diem Tiny Word stickers and I'm adding those on one says uh, Tell the Tale Hello Friend and Lucky Duck and now I've decided because I've got that um, one stamp that says treasure I wanted to do some more stamping and just fill in the gap and here I just wanted half of a flower in black ink black stays on ink and I couldn't quite get it into the corner of the page where I wanted it but um, I did it in the end so I decided to do that and I really liked how that looked so I've 
done that in a few more places <laughs> as well just to fill in some of the gaps and I like how it looks I'm really pleased with that and it ties into then the treasure bit I uh, didn't do that bit very well so I just needed to go over it again and a bit in the corner and one on the side of that photograph this uh, traveler's notebook insert is getting really really full now I think I'm going to have to buy a new one literally having to keep it clipped down just to hold the page open so that's my spread thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe for new videos every wednesday and saturday